Hey, I'm Hayden, and these are five tracks that inspired me. The first song I ever remember hearing, I think in my life, was I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry. And I think it's because of how shamelessly melodic the chorus is. A lot of my childhood memories are tied to chorus melodies I found. So I grow up and I hear one in the wild and I'm uh, uh, bewildered because it just unlocks a core memory for me. That one specifically unlocks the fact that we were in and out of religious phases growing up and occasionally that song would be very taboo to listen to just because of the topic, but it was so vivid. The taste of her cherry chopstick and um, I remember not being able to dress up as certain things for Halloween because we wanted to avoid anything that went against religion. Um, but the chorus stuck with me. I re-listened to it for the first time uh, probably a few months ago, and it just, once again, all these things came pouring back. So uh, it also introduced me to Katy Perry, which is a win. <laughs> the second song uh, is Stan by Eminem. I think probably that is the, the second most vivid song that I have memories of growing up. And this one specifically introduced storytelling, which will be a through thread for all the other songs that I talk about. And it greatly applies to my own songwriting uh, in the way that I have to tell stories. I'm, I'm very interested with character arcs and that song is a perfect example of it. You can see the narrator's uh, mental state decline as the verses go and every time the chorus comes it means something a little bit different and I just thought that was super super masterful. Um, once again shamelessly melodic and it reminds me of driving in my car uh, or driving in my mom's car in the back seat windows down. My hand was probably in hers because I was just like a mama's boy growing up. And uh, core memories for that one as well. <laughs> the next song that I remember super vividly, um, which is a, a bit of a tone shift, but very much so in the storytelling uh, lane, is I Will Follow You Into the Dark by Death Cab. Um, one of my favorite songs of all time. If I was able to write a song in my life, or if I had a song that I wish I wrote, it would probably be that one. Very similar to Stan in my eyes, and the way that you follow a long story with a lot of um, interesting details. This one starts introducing a lot of metaphors, which wasn't super apparent in the first two. Those ones seemed very literal. I guess Stan is a sort of a, a large metaphor, but it feels very real. Whereas Death Cab introduces um, thoughts of religion and uh, Catholic school being compared to the Roman Empire and the viciousness of that scene. And those things were really fascinating for me. Also, uh, his voice is just so, um, so easy to listen to and so, so calm, but still very emotional, which um, as I continue making music, I find myself doing more and more instead of yelling into a microphone or being super intense kind of documenting life as it goes in a calm way is uh, satisfying to do as an artist and to listen to. Entering high school now, the, the fourth song that I remember very vividly is Wet Dreams by J. Cole. Um, my friends listen to a lot of rap music, um, either that or rock music, and my way into liking that was listening to artists like J. Cole or Kendrick or Jid or um, Brock Hampton and the through thread for a lot of those artists was storytelling once again. It was, oh wow, they're actually saying something really interesting and it changes from song to song and you can see them grow up with their music. Uh, Wet Dreams was a perfect example of that. I'm pretty sure every teenage boy uh, within my age range is probably going to remember that song in some way and uh, it perfectly kind of captured the, the fear, but also the excitement of having a high school crush. The last song, uh, I feel like all of these altered my brain chemistry in some way. The last one that definitely had that impact on me is 505 by Arctic Monkeys. And that one really solidified uh, me being a fan of slow burns and the idea that a song doesn't need to rush to get to where it needs to go. Um, I started writing more music like that once I became a little bit more confident in myself and wasn't writing for other people. And uh, 
similarly, the story doesn't really rush to get to a punchline. It's just an entire weaving world. And that was super interesting to me. Other artists that I listen to that practice that is Radiohead and Ben Howard and um, even a lot of pop writers practice it in small doses, but that song really boosts my confidence in a way where you don't need to worry about other people what about what other people think. Um, it's just about telling a story and doing it with a lot of energy and passion. Mm -hmm. 